guys, so today I'm going to do a tutorial on Katy Perry's Dark Horse music video. I love Dark Horse. The song has been on repeat for months now because I love Prism. My favorite song of the album is Legendary Lovers and next to that is Dark Horse. So I was so excited that Katy did a music video for it. And the best thing is that the music video rocked. It was super cute. I loved all the colors and the Egyptian theme and I loved the makeup. So today I decided to come up with a tutorial inspired by this look right here. It's the look where she's wearing the brown wig with the studs in it uh, along with uh, Juicy J next to her and I love it. This look definitely demands some time and patience but if you're ready for that then please keep on watching. Okay so I already put a base on and I used my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm gonna make a mixture between MAC's Deep Truth and Shop and Drop eyeshadow. Okay so first I'm gonna make a line as if it was my eyeliner for later on and then from there you can really nicely make that curve into the crease and go about halfway in so in the middle stop then go ahead and thicken that up a little bit and now with a pencil brush I'm really lightly I'm gonna blend that in. Okay, now a scary part comes. We're gonna take more color on the pencil brush, intensify and blend out. Really scary, but necessary. Okay, now for the lid, I'm gonna take two colors by Illamasqua. This is Victim, and this is Anya. And Victim goes on the outer part of the lid and Anya on the inner part, and then you blend the two together in a really nice, magical way. Okay, so starting off with Victim, apply that to the outer part, staying in between the lines, which for me was really hard when I was a kid. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little bit of Anya and apply that to the inner part, half section. Okay, and I'm gonna heighten this up till the crease of it so it matches that line or that weird shadowy color in the crease. Okay, now take a bit more of Victim and start blending it into Anya. So you have a nice seamless blend. Okay, now taking the slightest bit of Anya again, I'm gonna blend this darker part out really lightly, like nothing too much, but you do wanna blend it out a little tiny bit. So take just the tiniest amount of Anya and give this a softer, more blended feel. For my brow bone highlight, I'll be taking this pigment by OCC, and this is called Obscure. And Obscure has a really awesome green, teal, blue duochrome, so that is exactly um, what I want, because I felt like um, the brow bone highlight at Katie's look was a little bit too much. To highlight this inner corner, I'm gonna take my The Balm Sex Spot Overshadow Pigment in No Money No Honey, and just tap this on this very inner corner here, and then blend up slightly. For the blue glitter, I use a glitter by Lit Cosmetics, and this is Elton John number two. And then for the gold on the inner part, I'm gonna take Max Glitter in gold. And as my adhesive, I will be using the Lit Clearly Liquid Glitter Base. First, dabbing the adhesive onto where I want the glitter to be. And then with that same brush, pack up that Elton John glitter and pack it on. Don't smear it on. Okay, and I just did the same with the gold. And then because I like the gold and the blue to blend in with each other a little bit nicer, I'm gonna go back into the Elton John glitter and go a little bit over the gold and that will sort of make a gradient effect. Pack it on slightly over to gold and that will give a nice or nicer blend as far as you can blend with glitters that is. Okay now it's time for the liner and this is something that's sort of really almost impossible to explain. What you want to do and I, I won't be able to talk throughout it because I will be so concentrated on the liner I will not be able to talk. What you want to do is make a winged eyeliner like you normally would and then once you have that wing on you're gonna 
uh, take a part back into the crease and then sort of make that a thing. And then you want to look like this, make a really long sort of point on the inner corner and go back onto your lower lash line. And the products I will be using for that are my Inglot Eyeliner Gel in Matte, the AMC one, and also the Makeup Forever Aqua Liner in Black. So this is basically what you want your top part of the eyeliner to look like. Oh my god, now fill that in. What you want to do now is continue that liner throughout the rest of your lower lash line. And once you're almost to the end, you want to lift it away from the eye and make a line going parallel to the top. For that gap that we left bare here, we're going to actually fill that in with some glitter and for that I'm using a more yellowy gold glitter. I got this at a craft store. It's really finely milled so I think it will be okay. This will fill up this gap right here with the same uh, lit clearly liquid glitter adhesive and all that. Quickly on the waterline, I'm going to apply some Ben 9 Neutralizer Cream Crayon in Ultra Light. And I'm just going to apply some mascara and false lashes. The mascara I'll be using is my Makeup Studio Waterproof 3D Extra Black and the lashes are going to be Max 36. Okay, now comes an even trickier part of the look, the designs under Katie's eyes. So, for the right eye, you want to do that very Egyptian symbol thing. And then on the left eye, you want to make a line parallel to this and then at this part it goes down a bit. We got that. Okay, now the last finishing touch that Katy Perry had was that same gold glitter on the inner parts of the eyes was also in between these two lines and at the um, sort of border corner of this design. So I'm going to take that MAC gold glitter again and then I think for eyes we should be done. Oh my god. Okay, so for cheeks, what I'm going to do is first contour using my NYX Blush and Taupe. So just go ahead and contour that face. Now I'm going to give my face that Egyptian warmth with my Illamasqua Blush in Disobey. I'm going to take my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in uh, Exposed. And just the tiniest bit of that. And of course you want to give your face that amazing glowy look, so for that I'm going to take my MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Whisper of Guilt. And for lips, you just want to keep everything really warm and nude, and for that I will be taking my Kiko Rock Idol Lipstick in number one, and then to line it out and give it a little bit more fullness and dimension, I will be using the Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Color by Urban Decay in Glinda. And that guys completes my Katy Perry Dark Horse inspired makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. For a full list of every single product mentioned and used, go to my website, NikaTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. That all is Nika Tutorials as well. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it. Question of the video is what is your favorite song on Prism, Katy Perry's new album? Mine is Legendary Lovers and Dark Horse. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see See you guys next time. Bye guys!